Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are make, making this pulley with the help of the um, revolved feature. So let's begin. So let me start by creating a a new part. The dimensions are in uh, the units are in inches. So we're just going to confirm really quick. Yep, units inches IPS. So let's hit OK. Now let me bring the pulley dimensions so we can uh, follow to get together what I'm doing. So to uh, to create this pulley, we only need to uh, draw half section of the upper section. So let me show you what I mean. So let me start by creating a, a, new, a new sketch. And I'm gonna start by making some center lines. These center lines are going to be used to uh, revolve around the um, this axis. Okay. So now we're just gonna um, start creating the a rough um, sketch of the um, of the half section. So we'll we'll add dimensions later. So let's add a couple dimensions. This dimension here, um, since this is 150, this this has to be 0.75, three quarters of, of an inch. And the upper section is, uh, this is one inch, so we'll make this 0.5, half an inch. Now we'll add these dimensions here. So the first one is this one here. So if you notice, after you pass the center line, it'll become a diameter dimension because of the center line. So that's what we want. Okay. So this one here is three quarters of an inch. The next, um, the next one is point twenty five inches. Next dimension is. Uh, 1.5 and I'm just I'm just copying over uh, these dimensions here the next dimension is this is uh, 3.5 so if you notice um, we can just extend this a little bit more and also this one here next dimension is three and three quarters of an inch and the last one is four inches so I think we have all the all the uh, dimensions covered but we need one more we need the uh, thickness of the the pulley so this right here is a quarter of an inch so we need half of, of that so that will be 0.125 and now we I think I have all the dimensions so now we can hit OK and uh, we are going to click on revolved feature and the axis of the revolution is going to be the center line that we created uh, we're just gonna keep this blind and then uh, 360 degrees that's okay hit OK so this is only half section of the pulley. We need to mirror this uh, feature. So we can just hit on mirror and hit the face that we want to uh, the plane and then hit OK. So now we have a, uh, a full section uh, pulley. Next, we need to, if we continue looking at the this, drawing we need to add um, a few holes um, and these holes are uh, half an inch and the angle along the center line is 60 degrees so let's create that so hit on the interface and create a sketch 
first we're going to uh, draw this this circle where the holes are going to be located uh, we can make this for construction because this is just for reference and we can add a dimension 2.5 and we can place the um, let's add another uh, reference another reference here and um, one more center line let's create a hole and this is going to be 0.5 half an inch and this angle is 30 degrees so it says right here 60 but it is the same 30 or if we measure on the other side is 60 so that's how we locate that first hole so we can hit ok now we're ready for extrusion cut and um, we can just select through all and that's okay so that's our first hole then we can use a uh, a linear pattern to um, to create the rest of the holes circular pattern sorry and then under direction you can either select the outer face or the inner face or the um, edge as long as it is a a circle um, reference we should be okay so let's hit the uh, outer face and you'll notice that we have already um, the rest so if you if you wanted four holes you can just uh, change the number here so we need five and make sure this is 360 degrees if you have 180 then everything will be uh, patterned in the 180 uh, region but we want this to be 360 so you can cover the whole pulley and then uh, hit OK and this is how you create this pulley uh, thank you for watching